My name is Alex Mack. I'm a performing artist, recording artist, uh, engineer, producer, and uh, writer. I want my music to carry me across the world, being able to spread a positive message, to give people hope of, you know, when people tell you you can't do something that with the right perseverance and the right self-awareness that you can achieve exactly what you want no matter the difficulties that get put in your way. I'd love for my music to be able to be able to branch off and build other businesses for more like, you know, generational wealth and longevity, something I could pass down to my kids as well as like a beautiful catalog of art and music. Music to me is a legacy, you know, it's the seed that plants it. One of my first songs back when I got to do the music video for that. We were able to do it in my college town back when I was in North Carolina, Greenville. Um, me and Facade came up with the idea of just kind of doing a run and gun gorilla video style and went to a bike shop and went in and asked if we could borrow a bike and uh, gave us the most little rinky-dink one, took it around the corner, found all these little colorful walls, and just knew we had something. Sometimes that's what it's about, just making the most out of the situations that you're in and finding the beauty and the art in that. The yeah, after back when, um, I ended up deciding that I needed to pursue my music a little more serious, took time off from college, went down to Atlanta. Uh, so I filmed my music video for America's Psycho, and, just in the lab constantly when I was in Atlanta, just trying to perfect my craft, get better. Uh, when I moved back up here, went down to Florida, um, was able to work on Rendezvous, my first music video for when I was doing my weekly drops. Uh, the boy, Kenzo Shine, was performing with us at the Valentine's event. He, uh, he was able to come and shoot that with me. Got this really awesome shot of, uh, on the parking garage, and I'm on my car dancing. And there's a thunderbolt in the background, just one of those synchronicities that you just feel like you're on the right time. From there, moving on, pandemic made that during quarantine. It felt good just to, you know, create something like that that still gets plays and still gets uh, runs even without me necessarily putting all my time and energy focused on marketing that, but. Just seeing how everything has come together where we where we're at now. It's a great process. Favorite song that I've written slash produced, because I've been trying to produce a lot more of my music ever since I've been doing my weekly drops. Probably like 70, almost 80% of my music is all my self-production. You know, a song like Saging Demons just put out, I feel like there's a lot that I'm trying to capture. And sometimes the songs I feel like you know, with the newer songs, I get closer and closer to having that perfect song for me where I'm like, oh, I feel like this represents my interest. It shows a good like message of what I actually want. And I feel like Saging Demons is like the interesting part of it because I'm not fully, you know, like the song, like, you know, I'm talking about like, you know, oh, like, uh, fuck your bitch and cannon, you know, like, it might be like the cliche stuff, but I'm trying to expel that. I'm trying to get that out. So it's like, okay, we're there. Now let's move it forward. Now I talk about anxieties and I talk about where kind of some of the more mental health and the, the song slaps too. It's not like I'm just making like, you know, uh, like spoken word or something like that, right? It gets you lit. In the life of me, uh, right now I wake up probably 6, 6.30, um, you know, put my morning playlist on, whatever my morning Mac motivation is, right? Um, I start going about my day, get to the coffee shop around 7.30, open up, uh, you know, uh, coffee technician, you know, barista with it. Uh, probably get done around three, come home, try to work on music for probably an hour. So I'm probably working on music on the drive in and the drive back, already have a beat lined up and I'm just in the car freestyling, I get a good idea or a good bar, I stop at the stoplight, I type it in real quick, and then light comes back green. <laughs> now I'm back there. Um, so yeah, by like three, four o'clock, back at the crib, working on music, um, working on whatever the creative venture is. Uh, five o'clock comes around, I'm on my way to my server, my food server job. Um, so then I'm in a restaurant, you know, uh, more customer service with people. 
um, get done, let's say, 10, 11 o'clock at night. Um, might, you know, come home right back at it with music. Maybe I'll watch a movie for some inspiration, something that's been on my mind. Um, might hang out with a friend or something like that, but then it's right back to it the next day. Yeah, man, it just feels like everything's coming together, you know? It's time to just stay down long enough, can't help but come up. And putting together a team around you that share the same vision, same idea of how they want to execute. That's what it's all about, man. Find your spot in the community and building that community up.